Hello, what's up? Welcome back, MTG Burgeoning community and YouTube viewing audience. If you are still chilling with the latter and wish to join the former, click that subscribe button now. By doing so, you become eligible for all of this channel's sweet, sweet rewards. Kind of like the rewards we're going to talk about later in this video. Before we get to that part, however, we're going to finish our breakdown of our sealed case of Commander Legends by talking about the tokens and those etched foils. <laughs> All right, Burgeonites, welcome back. MTG Burgeoning here, and we are going to complete our series of a breakdown of one sealed case of Commander Legends draft boosters. Now, if you missed any of the previous videos of this series, you can click on the links below to bring you right up to speed. Pretty much what we've done is broken down an entire sealed case of Commander Legends, and then we examined all the white cards that came in the case, moved to blue, black, red, green, multicolored, colorless, and now we're just going to finish it off with the tokens and the etched foils that we were fortunate enough to get. It's going to be a pretty quick perusal because, let's face it, folks, these are just tokens. However, I think you'll find that the token breakdown is pretty interesting. So this is the stack of tokens that came in the entire sealed case. And we're going to go alphabetized, and uh, we're going to go numbered, uh, from, uh, what is it, 1 to 14? Yeah, from 1 to 14, so we're going to go 14 to 1. And it's going to be pretty interesting to see the breakdown here. So the first one, number 14, is the Monarch. So you can see how many different Monarch tokens there are. So, I mean, they, they, they did reintroduce the Monarch mechanic here in Commander Legends. And it is a big part of the court cycle, of course. But to get so many, 3, 4. Twenty-three total in one sealed case, averaging four per box. When, let's face it, in one game, you're really only ever going to need one monarch token. A little surprising that there were so many monarch tokens, particularly because this is not the first such printing of them. Another great token to have, the copy token. Now, this just was printed for the very first time. I believe it was back in Double Masters, I think it was. So to get all of these is, is really awesome. I mean, they, I think they waited too long to print a copy token because, let's face it, can you even have a game of Magic where something doesn't get copied? reached the 20 mark with the copy token. So we got 20 of those. That one, I have no problem getting as many of those as possible. The Monarch one, more Monarch tokens than copy tokens. Mm. Let's just see what you think about that in the comment section below. Treasure, not the first printing of the treasure token. However, as you're gonna see, they were printing them like they were going out of style. Treasure tokens. One, two, 19 treasure tokens. So we went 19 treasure tokens, 20 copy tokens, and nearly two dozen monarch tokens. And here where things start to, for me, they become a little disappointing and a little, a little frustrating, a little unnerving. Here's a printing of the very first time that we have a rock token artifact equipment. And in order to utilize this, equip creature that has tap one, tap it, sacrifice the rock, this creature deals two damage to any target. Of course, this is this comes from Tago, and it has the landfall mechanics. So whenever a land comes into play, you create a rock token e artifact equipment. So in an entire sealed case, we're talking 144 packs where there's a token in every pack. Three. Now, this is where for me, this is a problem. If Tago, as a partner, is one of the cards that we're kind of pushing towards the forefront of Commander Legends. It's a new legend. It has a partner mechanic. It creates something that's never been created before like this. Why are we only getting three in an entire sealed case? Three copies of the rock token artifact equipment. I, I am just not okay with that at all. Three. One in every two boxes 
you average one rock token. Really? But we need 23 copies of the Monarch? All right, next up we have a Horror token. Just four of those. A Golem token. Just four of those. Elf Warrior, certainly not the first time an Elf Warrior has been printed. Fourteen Elf Warrior tokens. Yep, fourteen Elf Warrior tokens. Here we got a Dragon token. Two, two flying with fire breathing. Three. Just like the Rock token, every two boxes you're averaging one dragon token zombie token how many times have they printed zombie tokens 14 zombie tokens and look at this awesome thrall token how many thrall tokens have been printed in magic's history yeah you probably wouldn't be surprised to see that how many thrall tokens made it into the seal case Three. Three Thrall tokens to go with our three rocks and three fire breathing two two dragons. Here's what here's another brand new one, the Salamander Warrior. Here we have eight copies of Salamander Warrior, which <laughs> is produced by just one spell, just one creature. Eight copies of it. Three rocks. Three dragons, three thralls. But we got eight copies of the Salamander Warrior. Spirits. The 1-1 one, one Flyers. Ten copies of the Spirits. Soldiers, another one that's been printed forever. Seventeen soldiers. And lastly, the Angel Tokens. Three Angel Tokens. So I don't know specifically if this is the usual expectation for tokens in a sealed case of Commander Legends, but I can definitely attest to the sealed case that I opened. There is no equality among the tokens. Three rocks, three thralls, three dragons, and a whole heck of a lot of other ones. Folks, those were the tokens in the sealed case. Now let's take a look at those etched foils. All right, so over the course of those six boxes in the sealed case, we averaged one etched foil per box. There were four boxes that had one etched foil. There was a box that had two, and then there was a box that had zero. And of the six etched foils, Four of them were uncommon, one was rare, and one was mythic. So the four uncommon etched foils that we got in the box was ECR, the Wardwing Familiar, Malcolm, Keen-Eyed Nav Nav Navigator, <laughs> Navigator, Slurk, All in Jesting, and Aruami, of the Dead Tide. Those were the four uncommon etched foils. The rare foil that we pulled was one copy of Yurlock of Scorch Thrash. And the mythic etched foil that we pulled was a reprint of Rectos Lord of Riots. That foiling is awesome. <sighs> Unfortunate that it's an average of one per box. But I guess those are the breaks. I mean, we could spend much more and average three <laughs> etched foils per pack in a collector's box of Commander Legends. But, well, we're just not going to do that at this time. And that brings an end to our, our sealed case of Commander Legends. So that's the breakdown. Um... Now that we've done that, let's start talking about some rewards. Over the course of several videos, we examined the contents of a sealed draft booster case of Commander Legends. If you missed any of these videos, then you can click the links in the description below and view them. 
what's next? We're going to do it again, but this time it will be for the MTG burgeoning viewing audience. Box by box, we are going to open another sealed case of Commander Legends and compare the content of that case with the one we broke down already. What overall differences will be noticeable in comparing these cases? For the purposes of clarity, the first sealed case of Commander Legends was purchased through a high volume wholesaler during an initial flash sale. The product was made in the USA. The next sealed case of Commander Legends was purchased as a pre-order from a local game store in a different part of the country. This product was made in Belgium. How will card quality, pack presentation, and the foiling process differ between cases? We shall see. I am also curious to discover, is the foiling consistent? As demonstrated throughout the breakdown of the first case of Commander Legends, the foiling process for all uncommons and multicolored cards resulted in darkened, opaque, washed out, and dull card presentations. Should this be expected across all cases of Commander Legends, or will there be consistent quality foiling across all rarities? How many fan lands will be in the case? The first seal case of Commander Legends produced nine fan lands in the rare slot and one foil fan land, an average of less than two per box. Two out of the six boxes didn't have a single fan land at all. How will the foils break down? The first sealed case of Commander Legends produced a total of 145 foils. There were 101 foil commons, 25 foil uncommons, 10 foil rares, 2 foil mythic rares, 6 etched foils, and 1 foil copy of Prismatic Piper. How many etched foils will there be in the case and what will be their rarities? The first sealed case of Commander Legends produced a total of six etched foils, an average of one per box. There were four uncommons, one rare, and one mythic rare. One box had two etched foils, four boxes had one etched foil, and one box had no etched foils. How many mythic rares will be in the rare slot? The first sealed case of Commander Legends produced a total of 20 mythic rares in the rare slot. There were either three or four mythic rares in the rare slot in each box. How will the legends break down? There are two legend slots per pack, 24 packs per box, and six boxes per case for a total of 288 legends in the legend slots. In the first sealed case of Commander Legends, there were 216 uncommon legends, 66 rare legends, and six mythic rare legends. How many partners in the case? In the first sealed case of Commander Legends, there was a total of 183 partners for an average of 30.5 partners per box. How many Prismatic Pipers will be opened? In the first sealed case of Commander Legends, there was a total of 24 copies of Prismatic Piper, an average of four per box. There was also one foil copy for a grand total of 25. Can a sealed case of Commander Legends produce a complete set of cards? The first sealed case of Commander Legends produced at least one copy of all but two cards from the entire set. The missing cards? Seraphic Greatsword and Mana Drain. Will there be a pack with four rares and or mythic rares? The first sealed case of Commander Legends produced no packs with four rares or mythic rares. I look forward to discovering the answers to those questions. However, that's not all. Let's make this series more interesting. It's the holidays. It's Commander. So let's give away some Commander stuff to the subscriber who has the most correct answers to the following questions. Each of these questions pertain to the contents of the sealed case of Commander Legends that will be opened on this channel. 
The first box will be opened in one week, which is the deadline to submit your entry. All entries should be emailed to mtgburgeoning at gmail.com and must be timestamped prior to the first box opening video of this series, scheduled for Saturday, January 2nd. All scores will be tallied upon the conclusion of the sixth and final box opening video of this series. In the event of any ties, the subscriber that submitted their entry first will break the tie. One entry per subscriber. The subscriber that answers the most questions correctly will receive Land's Wrath and Sneak Attack pre-constructed Zendikar Rising Commander decks, two packages of Ultra Pro Eclipse sleeves, 100 count each, four draft booster packs of Commander Legends, and free participation in February 2021's Pack Wars. The second and third highest scorers will receive free participation in the February 2021 Pack Wars event. Any subscriber that answers every question correctly will participate in every Pack Wars event during 2021. Questions and answers can be copy pasted into an email from the description below. All MTG Burgeoning subscribers are eligible for this giveaway. Good luck.